Some young kids are now able to get the COVID vaccines, a game changer for local uh, preschools and daycare centers. Noelle McLaren reporting now from Saratoga Springs. Some of the first to be born into a world with COVID-19 are now some of the last to be able to get vaccinated against it. I, I think it's awesome. For those in early child care, like Katie Igler, a vaccine for kids under five has been highly anticipated. Igler is director of Small Wonders Christian Preschool in Saratoga. Their pre-K class was forced to shut down five times due to COVID exposure in the last school year, all because the majority of their kids were too young to get vaccinated. Children in the class needed to be quarantined for five, seven, sometimes 10 days, depending on when that shutdown fell. And so our classrooms were closed and that's a hard interruption of learning for them. Kids thrive on consistency. Now, according to the CDC, more than 40% of the five to 11 age group population is currently vaccinated against COVID-19, but that didn't really help some preschools and daycares like Small Wonders here because their children population is much younger. But with the under five population now eligible, Igler says that changes everything, including how the preschool can operate with COVID exposures. The hope is with more of their children able to get vaccinated, the less they will have to close classrooms. The way the CDC rules work is that if you are vaccinated, you don't necessarily have to quarantine after you've been exposed. Privately run preschools and daycares now have the option to require the COVID-19 vaccine for attendance, an option many child care facilities may explore. We're not necessarily beholden to any of the state or public school licensure requirements. So it's exciting for us to be able to figure out what we want to do as a group. Igler says her preschool typically follows the recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics. A general vaccination policy is already in place at Small Wonders, but it doesn't yet touch on COVID-19. We'll meet in the next few weeks to talk about what our requirements will be and how we'll proceed. In Saratoga Springs, Noelle McLaren, News 10 ABC.